last session was drop down list done here good drop down list. actually this one right next one the challenge if function select country the drop down list drop on that country this is challenging because I'm unable to do a validation that change validation on the cell but I found a function called choose right so let me explain what is choose to do this function I have to add another criteria to make it sensible okay first plane number number of planes this will be your first plane. Oh, it's not plane right now. Okay, so I'm gonna move this, remove this validation. Any number. Okay, validation is removed. This is not about the countries anymore. So I change the color. Okay, what is this for? America one, Germany one, two. Okay, so what is this for? equals first purchase one one second second so what this means is america one time two three four right so how this is the interesting part okay let me explain this formula this is the if then else statement three times the first statement, if you can see it, okay, it looks like this. If B2 is equal to America, here I state, I'm talking about B2, you choose the first one, F15, one of the model, and the other one, P51D. That means out of these two, you choose the first one, F15. Why? Because it's one. This is the first American plane on this road. If B2 is Germany, Germany only has one plane in the lineup, so it's just straight away use BF109, just like in the second line here. If B2 is equal to Japan, you choose the first one. Japan has two planes, A6M3 and KI61. So this is a three if statement. The first if is for America here. See, the logical test is B2 equals America. The value is true. That means you choose one, F15, out of the two planes, F15 and P51. Value is false. You do not put here because you have another logical statement here and a third logical statement here. You put the value is false up to the end. Bracket, bracket, bracket. That's it. Okay, so see, so if this is one, you use this formula, choose one, choose one here, choose one. That means it's the first purchase for America. So Germany first purchase, Germany only one plane, Japan first purchase, of course choose one, this one. So when it comes to two, that means I have to change this formula, I just copy over. Right, you see it still shows Japan. The first purchase is the same. Why? Because the formula is pointing to one. But this is second purchase. So I have to put this to choose the second plane. Choose the second plane. Then KI61 will come up. America, choose the second plane. That's why it is P51D. So this fulfills the criteria. Okay, let's remove the lines here. This will fill the criteria if function select the country drop down list planes from that country. So there's no drop down list, but it shows you automatically select the second plane. This is the first purchase for the country, then the second. Right? So technically, if you want to be more advanced, I can just choose change the formula if column C is one, then I use the one formula. If column C is two, then I use a two formula, which is a little bit more advanced, and then I don't have to have two formula for this column. Right. Okay. What can I can I try that? 
Let me see if I can. B1. Okay. Oh, it means I have to have a double confirmation if, but I shall not try that. That will be for another round. But so far, try this. This length is good. This length, okay. Codes, wrong. This one is not about this. This one is about the cell. The cell. What is wrong here? You look at the text here. Number of characters. You are, I'm looking for the cell play model. This is what I'm looking for. Actor. Say. Okay. Four character code as. There you go. Okay, everything including the funny lines, but it's four characters. Okay, 